Yo, we got a little bit of work to do on one of the trucks and then I think we're gonna go do a little speed test. Put the uh, speedometer on all the different trucks, see what the top speeds are. Yeah, should be fun. Cozy tofu, finally packed it in. Having problems with the connectors. Time to get a new setup. What the heck, perfect excuse. Time for one of these. Yell. 120 G2 quick run from Hobby Wing and I've been using Hobby Wing stuff in all of my trucks for quite a few years now. All right then. Yeah, nice little 3660 motor, same as what's in there. 3150 kV, much quicker than this 2600. So that'll be nice. This will be a little faster. And this is the new BL120. So let's pull these out and get them in there. You see. All right. So it does have the smaller fan on this one as well. But the construction is really similar. Yeah, it's got the different style. It's actually, this one has a bigger heat sink. The Max 10 kind of angles in, whereas this is just a square. The capacitors actually look a little bigger than the ones in the Max 10. I don't know what the specs are on that, but maybe someone out there does. Definitely uh, much heftier than what was in there before. The little BL60, but yeah, this looks solid. I switched over all my connectors to XT60. So no more Deans, which is nice. And now all my batteries will work with this one too. That was a fun little project. I bought a new soldering iron for that because my other one was terrible. I got one of these pretty cheap on Amazon. I think it was 30 bucks or so. Perceva goes up to 480 degrees. Bunch of different tips that you can put on and off there. It works so much better than my shitty old one, that's for sure. I don't know how it's gonna last in the long term and I know nothing about proper soldering equipment, but this works way better. Look at this motor. Oh yeah. That's a sweet, yep, looks like a motor. Not so red, more of a pink. <laughs> don't really match very well, do they? Big fat five millimeter shaft. This drill came from a friend of mine who passed from stomach cancer about a year ago. And I think about him every time I use this. Tell the people in your life that you care about them while they're here. Cause someday they won't be. So yeah, this'll be pretty easy. Swap everything over and away we go. Won't bother you with all that. I started using this stuff, which is like command strips or whatever from Walmart for mounting stuff around your house seem to work fine. They have a bunch of different sizes and you can cut them to whatever size you need. These have worked fine for me for uh, securing ESCs. Obviously they've dealt with heat, whatever. I've used these for a couple of years, three or four years in pretty much all my trucks. They work fine. And then when you need to take them off, it's really easy to get off. You just st you know, stretch it and it pops right off. Doesn't leave any residue or anything. Pretty, uh, pretty decent stuff actually. All right, let's get this all pulled out and put in the new stuff. Yeehaw. All done. There we go. Fits in there so nicely. Now we'll get the controller calibrated. I already set all the program settings with this. I didn't really change anything except the uh, BEC voltage. Turned that up to 7.4 and uh, put the brake force and max reverse force at 50%. And see how that goes to start. The neutral range, number seven here. This was set, default is at 9%. And I set it down to 1%. That meant the trigger was a lot more sensitive. All right, I think this might be good. Okay, great. What did I end up with here? A is on B and B is on A and C is on C. So, and the controller is on normal. That's better. I think this can be really, really fast. So that's all set. Just for a little comparison, the, Mac, the old Max 10, you know, there's a big gap right there. This is the new BL120. It fills the whole thing up 
way bigger. I don't think you can actually get this anymore, but this has worked really well for me. I've had this for like six years. I've beat the hell out of it in and out of the water, jumping it, smashing it. I've had it in three or four different cars at this point, and uh, it's still going great. So really happy with that. Yeah, there's the there's comparison. Spicy tofu with the mashers, Max 10, 3200 kV motor, 13 tooth pinion. Cozy tofu. We got the brand new 10 BL 120, 3150 kV motor, 13 tooth pinion. And that is the new cozy tofu. New cozy and old spicy. We're gonna have a little shootout. And while we're at it, we're gonna speed test the Night Runner with the new Fusion SE 1800. This is gonna go very slowly, but it'll be fun. What the heck? And we're gonna test the Techno. I did a speed test when I used to, when I first got this with the regular backflip LP tires, not these big ridiculous ones. This will be funny. We'll see if I can keep it from flipping over. So this one, this has a Max 8 G2 censored. And a 2250, I think. Yeah, 2250 kV, easy run. The motor comes with the Max 8, it's great. Running on 4S. Got a pretty small pinion on here, relatively. And I think this is a 16. It's, it's somewhere between 14 and 16. Who can go the fastest? Plus, we might have a Creighton, uh, 6S Creighton. Yeah, so, we'll, let's do it. All right, I'm hiding from the wind. I'm gonna start with the Night Runner with the Fusion SE 1800. Next, the Team Associated Rival MT-10 with the Max 10 SCT on 3S. That's also on 3S. Brand new 10 BL120 G2. And then the Techno with the Max 8 G2. G-Frog is here to help drive. All right. Track mode, start, oh. give her. <laughs> All right, that's that. Stop. Read. Eight kilometers an hour. How was that experience? Riveting. <laughs> now it's time for spicy tofu, which used to be spicy, but now cozy spicy is spicier, I think. So this will be the test. G-Frog is piloting. We're gonna go for squishy tofu. Squishy tofu. This is the way I have this thing set up. Just strapped on here, wrapped around. We're gonna keep it upright. Start. Yo. All right. Oh, it's not ideal. <laughs> All right, let's go test. Stop, read. 77 kilometers an hour. Good three seconds of full power. Yeah, you can see the tires ballooning. Look pretty good. Good. Good work. How did the handling feel? A little squirrely <laughs> as, as wheels balloon. Um, brakes work really well. <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay, so now it's time for the brand new 10BL120. 3150 motor, 13 tooth pinion, team associated, rival MT10 on stock wheels. Stock, diff, everything. <coughs> Excuse me. Start. <laughs> Thought if we got close to the airplanes, we'd go faster. Oh, I knew it. Definitely should have adjusted the steering trim first because it was way out and that was sketchy. And I flipped over. All right, let's go see what it is. Stop, read, 74, a little slower. Maybe I should try it again to see if I can get a little better. I'm going to. Track, start, reading. Okay. Out of range. Oh, there we go. All right. 
that was better. That was a good long full throttle run. All right. I, I'm gonna call 81. 81? Yeah. I think I'm gonna be pessimistic and go 76. All right. Stop. 80 world, hopefully. 72 again. So slower. It did feel like it might have been already starting to drag the battery a bit. But interesting. So I thought that would be faster than the Max 10, just by the way it was thrashing around on the desk. But it was slower. All right, time for the techno. <laughs> the turbine awakens. All right, I think we're good. Start. Full speed. This battery is at about 3.9 volts right now per cell. So it's 4S. So maybe that's what we're going, but that was pretty slow. Interesting. All right, let's see what it was. Stop. Read. 69. Ah. Nice. 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 All right, so it's, it was a meme car. Meme car, it looks like a meme car, so that makes sense. Look at that thing. I might still have the 14 tooth. I'm gonna have to check, but the first time I did this, I, I went about 80 kilometers an hour with the backflip LPs, which are smaller diameter, but way lighter. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, so maybe the tires, giant tires, like you're saying, lots of friction, more air resistance, more mass. I'll have to go check my pinions and see, but 69, 77, 74 was the best on this. Yeah. And then a good old eight kilometers on the Night Runner. A good test. Now, there might be a late addition. We'll add the Creighton in once we get that tested. The BL120 feels really good. It's smooth. It's got a decent amount of power. Not quite as much as the old Max 10, or I assume the new Max 10, but happy so far. That's the first, the first little test. Speed. All right, we'll see you next time.